right, you cannot do pull-ups or you want to improve your pull-ups, let's break it down. First, let's talk about the exercise you do to build the strength in the muscles needed for the pull-up. The bicep and the back. There are two main things you want to be able to do. The first one and most important one looking at overall body weight movements, your grip strength. Hang for as long as you can on the bar. You want to be able to hang at least 10 seconds on the bar. Your grip strength is the strength you need to hang on the bar while you're doing the pull-ups. If you do not work on your grip strength, you want to let go of the bar within seconds and you can't even do your first pull-up because you're lacking in grip strength. You can make the hanging on the bar into a superset with the second exercise. Australian lower bar pull-ups. Go to the lower bar and do sets of 8 reps. I'm not saying you will hit this number but go for it aim for it give everything you have do this superset four to five times so four to five sets try to aim for at least four times a week you can also do this every single day if you really want to get that pull up as soon as possible do this superset with minimum rest so if you think you can go back to the bar hit the bar challenge yourself try not to go higher than three minutes rest really challenge yourself if you do this and feel like it's getting easier and you're able to hang for at least 10 to 15 seconds and your Australian pull-ups are going good all right now go to the next step you're almost there this really helped me to hit my first pull-up this step is amazing this helped me with a lot of other exercises too like the front and back lever and a lot more resistance bands a lot of them wrap them around the bar tighten them step in them and pull this way you will get to feel how it is to do the pull-up motion and you can focus on form this will really build the strength needed for the pull-up there are different types of resistance bands heavy heavier and less heavy try to do as many reps as you can for at least five sets a day at least four times a week if you're going higher than eight you're likely to do your first pull-ups and maybe your first three if you're still not able to do your first pull-up go to a lower type of resistance band and go for eight reps again. If you wanna know which band is good for you, check out this video right here. It explains which band is best for you, your type, your height, and your goals. You can now get the resistance bands that I'm using in this video in the description below. And I'm just saying, with a discount. The rubber bandits are good for a lot of movements. If you can't do Australian pull-ups, use these to support you. And for those who really don't wanna go with the resistance bands, you can always go for the good old negative pull-up. Jump on the bar and go down as slow as possible. Try to do this the same as the resistance band pull-ups. Eight reps. Five sets, four times a week. Let's talk about form. I don't want to see weird form and you don't want shit form. No half reps, no half upper reps, lower reps. Full motion. Go for the full motion. Fully up and fully down. Maybe even wait when you're down and wait when you hang still and then pull up again. And also focus on that negative. With the Australian pull up and the normal pull up, with the bands pull up and obviously the negative. Do not, like I'm showing you right now, do not drop down, pull up, and drop down because that's easier because gravity that's not how you do pull-ups keep that in mind and you will get there all right so here's a challenge for you do this for the next month and i guarantee you 99 percent no you know what 110 percent results so from the beginning to the end starting with your grip strength and knowing the pull-up motion these are the two most important things you need to know about and learn and practice and get stronger at before you do the pull-up or even attempt doing the pull-up because you were a lucky one if you could do a pull-up the first time you tried it because I, I couldn't. <laughs> Second point of the video, get to know the movement, get stronger, do your Australian pull-ups, get some bends, stand in them and get to know the pull-up motion. Do some negatives, focus on your form, it's really important. And obviously the third point, pull-up and challenge yourself. Always make sure to challenge yourself and do not give up. Another note, people say it's easier to do a pull-up when you're skinny than when you're overweight. This is possibly right because when you're skinnier, you're less heavy and you have less weight to pull up. But someone who's overweight tends to have more muscle and stronger muscles, so this will help with the pull-up too. So don't be discouraged by I'm fat or I'm too skinny. Go for it. A tip for people who are overweight and this really helped for me, try to lose weight and try to eat good. Because if you're doing the challenge and losing weight, you're building muscle, so this will make it easier because you're lighter but stronger. Sort of the same goes for skinny people. Eat good, you will build muscle and you will get stronger, you will get there. If you didn't give up and got managed to do your first pull-ups, make sure to keep challenging yourself. Watch the video about variations of pull-ups, 30 different pull-ups, try them, set your goals. You can do it. The pull-ups in that video go from easy to hard. You need to understand that my first pull-up took me weeks, maybe months to do it. It will not be like this. You need to work your ass off to get your first pull-up if you've never done one. But I genuinely know if I can do it, you can do it too. Let me know. Let me know your progress. Let me know your journey. I'm really interested. You can follow me on Instagram and even talk to me there. All right, so I hope this helps you with your journey. Next week's video is going to be a banger too. Make sure to subscribe for that. Make sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. And make sure to let me know if you can do your first pull-up or maybe even your first trick. And I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye.
Weight training also really helps to get your first pull up. 